Hello, my name is Kim Sauer at Electronica 2014. I'm joined today by Pete Collins from Asta Technologies. Now, you're the business development manager, manager for Asta Technologies. Uh, Technologies. Welcome, and thank you. thank you for taking the time to talking, for talking to us today. So, um, your company deals with essentially test and measurement. So, yeah. tell us a little bit about Asta. Asset Technologies is a product that's um, been uh, 20 years old now, so we've been developing solutions for the electronics market now for over 20 years. Um, we're the only company to provide a solution that allows um, our customers to do test coverage estimation for any type of test strategy that's available within manufacturing today mm -hmm. and analyze the quality of their products before actually um, manufacturing the boards and also ensuring that when a product has been um, developed or been manufactured um, anywhere in the world that we can analyze the, um, the coverage provided by the, the various test programs. So you're ultimately, right before the manufacturing process, identifying possible issues. Yes, that's correct. Um, that has huge implications for, for the, the actual full process because you're already looking at cost savings um, in, in what's to come because if you see the, the fault beforehand, you can, you can uh, sort of do something about it, can't you? That's right, so but, but by um, analysing the designs, the testability, um, at the design capture stage, mm -hmm. prior to committing to layout, we can ensure that adequate testability has been mm -hmm. built into the design, mm -hmm. so that when the product goes to layout, the testability is there, mm -hmm. and you're not handing that ball design over the wall to the um, new product introduction team, and they realise that they they got mm. very poor testability, and and hence very poor test coverage. Mm. So it it's allowed you to provide a, a more co um, concurrent engineering approach mm. to design and test. Mm. With lots of those type of solutions on the market worldwide, and a lot of people um, using those services in Asia, is is there some sort of loss of control, or, or what sort of trends are you seeing the, 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 in that relationship? The problem we see is with a lot of um, OEM companies now outsourcing to, um, to Asia is they lose visibility of what's being achieved. Um, what our tools allow um, customers to do is, is analyze the, um, the test programs, the quality of the test programs have been generated um, by the um, subcontract manufacturers and also to get a good understanding of what the, what the coverage is on the, on the board that we're actually manufacturing. Mm -hmm. um, so you get visibility and you know, it's, it's, it's not a, an estimation that you're getting 80%, perhaps 90% test coverage. Based on the different test strategies they're using, we, we can actually measure the real coverage at each test stage mm -hmm. and also for the combination of test strategies. Mm -hmm. So you get a very good understanding. Now, from a company perspective, you've got a number of offices around the world, and you've just opened one in the States as well. In the so USA, what, yes. What's the, um, what's the strategy behind that and the reasons? The, the reason behind that is is we're finding that the um, we've been looking at opening an office in the USA uh, for a number of years. Uh, one of the main reasons is that in order to deal with um, defense companies in the USA, you must be a U.S. citizen. Uh, so we've got to have a U.S. guy on board in order to do that. But also, the um, business is picking up in the USA as well. We see a lot of interest, and, and trying to do that remotely from uh, within the U.K. is, is difficult because mm -hmm. of time zones. Um, so that's the main reason we're opening mm -hmm. up a, an office. What do you think is driving that growth over there? Um, I, th I think I think it's, it's uh, after the recession, it's, uh, that's picking up now. Um, business opportunities are picking up. And there's a, there's a lot of interest in in understanding the quality of the uh, of test, um, the the quality of the the build of the boards, and making sure that products are being um, manufactured correctly, mm -hmm. and and not learning from your mistakes, you know, after the event. Sure. In terms of the German market, we were at a German show. Um, it's the last day of the show. What, what's been the feedback, and are there similarities in, in the markets, or, or is, is Germany and the surrounding areas a complete? Germany, Germany is always a very good market um, for us, and, and we, we we use a uh, distributor in, in Germany for, for our business, look after our business, and with, with this show and also Polytronica shows, um, that is a, a, a good um, focal point to. Um, to, to meet our existing customers and also to find new prospects as well. 
and also a good opportunity to meet up with our distributors. Quite mm -hmm. often you find that our distributors around the world come to these events, these major events, so it's a very good opportunity to, to touch base with, with those guys as well. So it's been a good show for you? Yeah, it's been a good show, yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for your time today. No, you're good welcome. Good luck with the rest of the show. Thank you very much.